now. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Excited. First off, you're looking amazing. Looking amazing, oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, the thanks. Presenting. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I have to represent my people now. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, I was asking you this particular question. So, which state are you from in Nigeria? Because people need to know. I'm from Niger Delta. Niger Delta. Yeah. Is it like there's a way people dress? Um, maybe someone from... Oh, they didn't dress like this. Oh, uh-huh. okay. Yeah, it's, just, uh, it's just style, swag. Swag? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because oh, a lot okay. of Kenyan ladies usually love Nigerian men. So, <laughs> as you are here, there are lots of ladies back at home. Yeah. Who are like, hey, this yeah, man can sing. Now. Yeah, they're seeing you now. Yeah, it's true. It's currently live, mm-hmm. though. The ladies who are seeing you back at home, they they know your music and uh, you're doing quite amazing. So, first off, we're so appreciative, Sana. Mm-hmm. So, in Kenya, we tell you Karibu. Karibu means welcome. So, Karibu to Culture Click, Karibu Pomo to TV, Pomo TV yeah. and Karibu to the show. Thank you, thank you. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now, now um, let's talk about your own music journey. But before we jump into that, yeah, okay. is Stephen Massey your real name? Yeah. Like bath name, bath Stephen Massey. Why did you decide real to name. go with that when it's so many me. people have stage <laughs> names? They have their own names. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is 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 original name like uh, first name Stephen Massey. Stephen Massey. Yeah, yeah. Oh wow! Mm. But it sounds amazing, mm. and it's a it's a good thing that you're actually um, using your name now. Things like that. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we have to ask where did your musical journey begin? Yeah. Um, okay. That was uh, a long time ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when I was very young. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We used to play music with uh, drums in the house. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. From there, we started playing from the studio. Mm-hmm. I played in the church also. Ah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. So I've been singing for a very long time. Very long mm-hmm. time. So I was small. Okay. Uh, yeah. You know, I always kind of like feel when it comes to all musicians, yeah, and I stand to be corrected. So a lot of them, they always start in the church. So my question is, how did the church, you know, bringing up or rather, you know, you being an integral part when it comes to the whole church, you know, um, help you when it comes to your own music journey? Okay, you know, um, <clears throat> from the church was that was where I uh, where where I learned how to do uh, backups. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. You know, I used to sing straight, and but I had a, a passion. Mm-hmm. I wasn't that good. I wasn't a, a, a good singer. I wasn't a born <laughs> singer. You understand? So you started in the choir. I, I had passion. Oh, mm-hmm. passion. Music. Mm-hmm. So for so. all the people when you are Kunyumbani, you you can start from passion. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, I can. Work. That? No, I'm telling the people who are back at home, they oh, can start from passion. passion. If oh, you yeah, did, yeah, yeah, yeah. they can too. Passion is the is a super thing. Mm-hmm. I had so much passion for music. Yeah. Like when we're sleeping in the morning, uh, our alarm is music. Whoa. My dad used to wake up us with music. That's yeah. amazing. Oh, wow. so I, I had so much uh, love for music. I had a friend who, who used to tell me, no, 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 you can't sing. Just, you know, I from the start, mm-hmm. I was actually doing more of rapping. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. But... I wanted to sing, mm-hmm. and I had a friend who always tell me, "No, no, no, you can't sing. You can't be rapping." <laughs> and this is my very close friend. Oh, but the passion I had for singing cool. mm-hmm. yeah, makes me you know, now work now hard in more. Mm-hmm. And I came from a Christian family, uh-huh. so I was always in the church. I started as a, 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 a choir member. Ah, okay. Yeah, from there we. Mm-hmm. You've talked about negativity, especially from people who are close to you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, do you think that the kind of strength you had, because you didn't let that negativity get to you, yeah. you didn't let the fact that a very close friend of yours tells you that you can't sing, deter you from singing. Yeah. So yeah. Do, which other problems or which other difficulties have you faced in your journey of becoming Stephen Mercy where you are right now? Yeah, you know, um, <laughs> it's, it's a long way though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you know, when I started doing music, I used to uh, record it in the tape. Yeah, in yeah. a very small way. And that was a problem. Yeah, yeah but by the grace of God, it is got better. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the number one challenge I had in the music industry was giving yeah. yeah. my I believe that has been good. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> it has. Exactly. Amen. Now, you have a lot of tunes, a lot of bangers under your belt, yeah? yeah. But one of them dubbed Vera Sidika. <laughs> that got what was the inspiration? What was the inspiration behind that? <laughs> First of all, do you know, have you guys like met with no, Vera? We've never met. Has uh-huh. she ever even listened, listened or to, to the song? 
I don't know. <laughs> but I know she's watching, yeah? Mm. Oh, she's watching. Yeah. <laughs> so tell us about the song and then you can speak to her back at home so that she knows why exactly you, you wrote that song for her. Okay. I, I wanted okay, my, my music. I basically sing for Okay, I basically sing for Africa. I am so much into African uh, in and Africa. Like I'm always preaching about African women in the music aspect, not in real life. So um, when I was doing this song, Bea Stika, she's a uh, socialite, right? Yeah. A very uh, entrepreneur also. Very popular. So I wanted someone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. To preach to the whole world uh-huh. how you love mm-hmm. awesome people. So in your own words, do you believe that Mira Sibika is your definition <laughs> of beauty? Uh, is it? I I shall remove my comment. And actually, in that particular um, comment, and sorry to cut you short, yeah. Okay. Is it true that when it comes to Nigerian men, yeah. you guys you love? People who look like Vera, you know, BBW. People who are well and good. Yeah. Yeah. Not people who are the, as skinny as I am. I'm not, I'm not sure. No, but, it, but it's true. It's true. Uh, uh, okay, it might be true, but not 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 all Nigerians actually. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, that's amazing. And uh, we'll talk about your other tune, Baby. Could yeah. you tell us about that? How did that come into cool. being? Yeah. You are like now. I said that I did a song mm-hmm. that I used to listen to. The song was titled Babe, and I love the song so much. So that's how I, I just decided to do something more creative like that. Yeah. I told you that song with my elder brother. Oh my god, that was your elder brother. That's my elder brother, and that's actually the guy that taught me how to do it. Oh wow. Yeah. Right, studio, I started shout out, yeah? Uh, shout out to <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. right, studio, I, started, I started by rapping. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is what I taught me how to rap. So when I was doing this song, being it, being it, uh, a, a something, I don't know how to put it. It's, it's like a memory. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's something that brings us back. Yeah. It brings back childhood yeah. and memory. Yeah. 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 So he was the perfect person mm-hmm. on that song. Yeah. 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 He really did well. Yes. Because he shared in the memories that you had as children, of yeah. course. Yeah. And uh, you've mentioned rap a lot. And uh, but later on during the show, I'm gonna put you to test because I want. I want. Mean, we heard you sing, but we haven't heard you rap. Yeah. I think that would be amazing because you look like an amazing rapper. A rapper. But I'm not, I'm not ready. Look, I can rap here. Yeah. Uh-huh. You want me to? Uh-huh. But my music, I don't think I'll, I'll, mm. I'll be rapping. Mm. You, you've actually answered my question because that, that was the question I was gonna ask you. So thank you for reading my mind. So you know, when it comes to the Kenyan music industry, a lot of people think um, Nigerian. You guys are doing the most, yeah. We go to clubs, but I think right now kuna vile imeanza kutulia kidogo ya. So what's the secret when it comes to the Nigerian music industry? Because you guys, you are on top of the game, you know. So what's the secret? Yeah, I see most Nigerians, yeah, Nigerian music, all I know. Yeah, I'm not saying for everyone. Yeah. Most Nigerians, their song is always original. You understand? They take it from the scratch, Nigerian way. It goes well. Yeah, yeah. Originality is what I, what I would say. I have seen some people mm-hmm. from Africa yeah. trying to sing like this. Song. And at the end of the day, <laughs> they sing like Chris Brown very well. Yeah. Uh-huh. And the song we not sing in Africa. Yeah. We understand. only have one Chris Brown. Exactly. You understand? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, but most Nigerians, they, they do their set. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like they are not singing Mr. A or Mr. B. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They are singing their set. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. They're being unique yeah. and everything. Yeah. yeah. And speaking about yeah. uniqueness, um, there's a certain way you portray yourself. There's a certain tune you give to your fans. Yeah. So as the original Flyboy, <laughs> <laughs> How would you describe yourself or your sound uh, to your fans? Me, I'm original. <laughs> <laughs> Musically, eh? Mm-hmm. Uh, Live voice original. Mm-hmm. That's not, yeah. yeah, when it comes to music, I, I think, I, yeah, mm-hmm. I'm original and I'm the best of my kind. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, now, recently, a lot has been happening in Nigeria and yeah. um, the hashtag end SARS. Cool. 
yeah, and um, I don't know what's your take on when it comes to that particular, you know, conversation. conversation. Yeah, it's really the ethics. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've seen a lot of uh, posts. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what to say, but to be honest, the sacks in Nigeria, they are really... really, really I'm, I'm, I'm supportive. I'm, yes. I, I was part of the movement. Ensas. Ensas. Yeah, I'm part of it. Ensas. And part of me. I'm, I'm, I'm over. And uh, still on that topic, do you feel that as an artist or as a figure that a lot of people look up to, you supporting movements that make a difference is actually a great thing? Yeah. It is. At least the reason why. Okay, you see, I am aiming to be a leader, yeah. to have followers. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. And I have to show example by following that music. Exactly. Yeah, the movement of NSAC is one of the greatest things that ever happened. Yeah. You, you people are Kenyans, you might not understand, <laughs> but we know what we face there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the movement of NSAC and police brutality is one of the greatest things that the youth of and I think it's a great thing because you have set the pace for a lot of African countries and uh, seeing that Nigerians have been able to do it well, have set the pace for us as other Africans to not tolerate police brutality because we're losing a lot of young people to police brutality. Exactly. You know, recently we performed at... The Night Fest. Right now we actually <laughs> met at the Night Fest. At the Night yeah. Fest. Yeah. The uh-huh. biggest concert, mm-hmm. you know? So how's your experience? Because everyone had their own experience. Because first of all, how, how, how did you get to perform at ISIS? Because as an international artist, there was such a huge lineup, but you came, you gave us an amazing performance. So how did you get to perform at ISIS? And how was the experience for you? Yeah, it was uh, actually my manager. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, he, he put me there. Shout out to DJ Sweeper. <laughs> DJ Sweeper. Hey. Big shout out. And, uh, and Fidosa. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah my, which is my manager and the assistant. Yeah. They put me there. Mm-hmm. But talking about the Night Fest show itself, mm-hmm. <laughs> um, okay, it's one of the biggest shows in Nairobi, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, it was cool, mm-hmm. but my expectations were not. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I really thought um, we can do mm-hmm. Yeah, and it didn't show up. Yeah. And the time I was called uh, to perform wasn't when I planned it. Everything was just like in the hall. It was rushed. Yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. Mm-hmm. There was, let me say, there was a, a lack of coordination. Coordination. Yeah. Yeah. Not very really coordinated. Yeah. But when the, all through the time, you know, they were speaking Israeli. Yeah. And I don't understand Israeli. Yeah. So I was just listening to the music. Mm-hmm. And I wasn't. But when the Caliber just came up, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, that was really it was a killer. Mm-hmm. And think nice. about Kali Jones. You know, he is, he's the OG. And yeah. Kenya is one of the biggest rappers that we have yeah, around. Yeah, so. um, mm-hmm. Is he one of the people you'd want to collaborate with in Kenya? Hop. Or are there any other artists you want to collaborate yeah, yeah, yeah. with? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kali Jones is uh, one yeah. mm-hmm. of the most important. You can speak to him on camera. Kali Jones. <laughs> Papa, eh, Papa Jones. Yeah, Papa, Papa Jones. Jones. How fun? <laughs> How fun now? Huh? I want to collaborate. Now. We can do collab. Yeah. Mm-hmm. God willing, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Anyway, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, the show was it was it was okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Kabisa. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But it, I was disappointed because uh, the other songs was not good. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, because my main reason, the, the, the number one reason mm-hmm. why I bought tickets was for uh, to watch the Kabisa yeah. yeah. But if he was not coming, yeah. I could have also come because of. Uh, Jones, uh, Otila Brown. Yeah. But I was disappointed but, you know, because of But yeah. also you meeting with the people, also the crowd also, could have made you also to go and perform, yeah? But yeah. about your personal performance yeah. in Kenya, mm-hmm. because we were all very disappointed and that's something that we even talked about in our previous show, because how artists were handled was even not as good. Professional. Yeah. But when you got on stage, how, how did it feel like in front of a huge, a crowd, huge crowd after so many months of COVID-19 not having to perform in front of an audience? Yeah. How did it feel? It was cool. At least I was able to express myself. All the heat, mm-hmm. all the, you know, all the, <laughs> <laughs> all the uh, indoors, yeah. the other performance. Yeah. I was able to throw it out and mm-hmm. the people accepted it. Mm-hmm. But 
I wanted to do more and there was no much time. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, that's why I said I was a bit disappointed. Disappointed. Yeah, but the, the show was still a killer. Yeah, even though uh, Ricardo didn't show up, it was still a killer. I think that's amazing. Okay. Now we'll take a short commercial break, a music commercial break. Mm-hmm. And we want you to do a song for us, yeah, if you don't one mind. Of song, or one of your choices is yeah. on break. Right. Lenta Sami and the Vixen here who yeah, Vixen. He's usually the DJ over there. So you can give us a few beats here and there. Yeah. And then me I entertain the audience. Like right now. Yeah. yeah. Okay. As we go on break. Any of your songs. Are you ready? We're ready. We're, ready. We're born ready. Love me, JJ, love me, tender. Give me good love, no wahala. I got a juice, I got cassava. I'm gonna give you love, you never suffer. I know that you love to play. We're gonna play not to a show. I know that you love to hold me. We're gonna cuddle in my zone. Rain, rain, go away. Come back at night. I wanna cuddle my baby. I wanna love you, my baby. Yeah. Ah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's been taught some little bit of Nigerian. Mm. Um, and we're actually very slang, surprised. If I'm not wrong. Uh-huh. So judge is a Nigerian term or... Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I wanted ah. to describe it really exactly the way he described it. What, what does JJ mean? JJ, yeah. Like, you know, when someone is in a rush or mm-hmm. someone is... Um, Baby, so much in the hurry, and you want the person to calm down. Uh-huh. You tell him do it, JJ. Uh-huh. And if you see the baby dancing, uh-huh. perfect motion. Mm-hmm. You can tell her, JJ. <laughs> which is oh, keep, so we understand. Keep giving it oh. like that. <laughs> in your gear, yeah. Keep, keep it steady. Yeah, keep steady. it consistent. But mm-hmm. right about now, we want to jump into the game of the day. And today, to mention that, would you rather kiss, marry, or kill? And the twist is, we're gonna be giving each person a challenge. So Mimi, I have to ask both of you questions. Oh, okay. Yeah, I have to ask who he'd rather kiss, marry, or kill. I'll ask you because today there's a twist. You know who exactly asked you those questions, so you know who to blame. And then you will ask Styles and I, and Styles will Plus. ask you and I. Okay. So um, because I do not believe chivalry is alive in Kenya, <laughs> we're gonna start with the men. So we're gonna start with Styles. Okay. You can give um, Stephen a question. Mm-hmm. I was born ready. I was also born ready. So Steve-o. <laughs> yeah. Steven Massey. Not Steve-o, not Steve-o. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Steve-o. Okay. I'm Steven Massey. <laughs> Steven Massey. Yeah, he said Steven. he has a one nickname. He you doesn't know, have a stage I name. I saw this meme. If you're called Kevo, you don't have money. But mm. if you're called Kelvin, mm. you have money. You have money. Okay. So if you're called Steve-o. You don't have money. But, oh. if yeah, but if you're Steven. But if you're Steven Massey. Steven Massey. <laughs> 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 anyway, so Steven, yeah? Yeah. So who would you rather kiss, marry, or kill? Between? Um, I'm going to give you Vera <laughs> I'm also going to give you um, Yemi Alade. Okay. And I'm going to give you um, Tiwa Savage. Who would you kiss, marry, and kill between the three? Tiwa Savage, Vera Sidika, and Yemi Alade. Mama Africa. Kill for real. No, it, it's, it's like just a game, but no options. Who would you kill? Like, who would I just uh, maybe take Yeah, yeah. snob. <laughs> okay. Um, I would... I would kiss Bea Sidika. Oh, wow. And not marry? I would marry... Uh, Yami Alade. Ahem. <laughs> but I can't kill... Uh, <laughs> You are savage. You are savage. <laughs> I, I, I would still kill her. Uh, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Aziza Hashim, yeah? Who would you kill, marry, mm-hmm. and kiss mm-hmm. between? Um, Diamond Platinums, mm-hmm. Harmonize, mm-hmm. Mboso. Uh, I know I'm killing Harmonize. <laughs> harmonize, you're dying. Sorry. <laughs> that, that is not even debatable, Ajay. And then I want Mboso to keep on saying, no, no, that is a terrible option to kiss them with that. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> oh, because of the ah, I... <laughs> How even? But anyways, I take the risk and... Uh, be one of the baby mamas. No, no. no. If they said I'm married, I'll be the only girl that Diamond would have married. So, I will marry Diamond Platinum. So that I will have one. 
I will have won because all other girls have failed. Yeah. Larry has failed. Hamisa has failed. He's a rabbi. Yeah, tell me, tell me. Then he has. Our Tanasha has failed. So, both so. And as much as I'd want you to sing to me my whole life, yeah. I will have to just kiss you. But Mary Diamond, platinum. When you're in Bazenga. Ish. It's a rap. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you want me to nanny? Okay. So do I start with? Steven or okay, I'm gonna start with Steven. Okay, who would you rather kiss, marry or kill? I'll give you your type of women. Nicki Minaj, number one. <laughs> I give you Vanessa Mdee over there. And last but not least, I'm giving you Simi. Kiss, marry or kill, Nicki Minaj, Simi or Vanessa Mdee. Mm-hmm. Okay. I want a very honest answer. Out, out, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, kiss. Marry or kill? Vanessa. Vanessa. Yeah. Vanessa. I would marry. Yeah. Oh, you wanna kill what your team is doing? Are you serious? <laughs> my babe. It's no. my babe. Uh, routine is in Nigeria. Yes. In Nigeria. You know what you're doing? Yeah. <laughs> I like what he said. <laughs> he knows what is good. Then uh, he said, uh, I'll kill. Uh, <laughs> Nicki Minaj. Yeah. Well, I'll kiss me one minute. Can, can I can I stay away from him? Because how can you kill the queen? I don't I don't like I don't I don't hate her mm-hmm. like like I hate her. Mm-hmm. But if I was to choose among those three girls, mm-hmm. she would be the last. Be last. Ah, yeah. That that is painful to hear. You see, I'm so much, <laughs> I'm so much into African women. Mm-hmm. Like I prefer the African. Yeah. Not that there is anything wrong with me. Yeah. Anything. Yeah. For me, I love the Africa. Africa. Yeah. Mm. And then now style, my G. Do you want me to take you Kenyan or in Kuteleka Mayolo? It's in Goshen. It's a babisha. Where? Apologies are in order. Would you kiss, marry or kill? Number one, um, Georgia Cats. Number two, all the way from Tanzania. Zuchu re, zuchu pale kama zuchu. Yeah. Number three, star woman yaro. Okay. Actually, that's so simple, yeah. Kiss, marry or kill. Number one, I'm gonna marry Doja Cat because mm-hmm. I love her voice. Uh-huh. I love her figure. Mm-hmm. She's an amazing lady. She's doing the most. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kiss Saru because I feel like I'm part of the ghetto vibe. Hey. You know, I'm representing, yeah. Zuchu back in Tanzania. You know, Zuchu, for Zuchu, I love you so much, yeah. She's also doing the most, but nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. Yeah. Don't kill her. I'm gonna keep her. No, they kiss Mario or kill. They kiss, kiss Mario or kill. Don't kill her. Just make it clear so that she knows you are going to kill her. No, I love Zuchu. Zuchu, I love you. I love you. I love Zuchu, but. Uh, but you have to die. Yeah, you will kill you. My turn, right? Yeah, yeah. Turn. Okay. I'll start with you. Okay. Would you uh kiss uh marry, marry. Mm-hmm. or what? Kill. Or kill. Um Nella Mani. And uh Steve the simple boy. <laughs> <laughs> These are human beings, man. Come on. <laughs> <They're young. laughs> wow, my bro. <laughs> Option three. It's supposed to be like, eh? yeah. If if I'm if I'm to be God, eh? I will take the beautiful girl and give it to the beautiful It's the human beings for me. Okay, how okay, you okay, feel? Okay, <laughs> balance there. After mentioning. <laughs> Uh-huh. Okay, let's go for Steve the Simple Boy. Uh-huh. He's my namesake, he's my G. Mm-hmm. I'm planning a collab with him. <laughs> so there's nothing bad about him. I can't wait for it. Yeah. Um, uh, Leramani, Steve the Simple Boy. Mm-hmm. And uh, okay, let's say Calligraphy. Uh, ah! 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 Calligraph. I will marry you right now, today. Right. Eh? He's married I already. can make a very beautiful and good stepmother <laughs> for all your three kids. I, me, me, I don't mind sharing with this kind of girl. That's Papa Jones, nigga. You don't mind sharing? Eh? I don't mind sharing. Papa Jones. Eh? Papa Jones, categorically Papa Jones. <laughs> all the other men, I will. Like, we are not negotiating you, you about know that. What? Mm-hmm. The next time the wife sees you close to her. <laughs> no, you you just be scared because <laughs> I've already told you categorically you have a right to be scared because yeah. 
you can get it. Okay. Number two, Naira Mali, I wrote this through because so deep. <laughs> hey man, Naira Mali is Naira Mali. I mean, what do you mean? Simple, simple boy, it's quite obvious that you're dying. Yeah, of course. You know, people say the rich get richer <laughs> and the poor get poorer. Mm-hmm. So you kill that poor guy. <laughs> At least he's doing the most. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not saying that he's poor as like, like financially. I'm talking about, you know, he's calm, he's gentle. You understand? You know, when someone is calm, they said, he's a poor guy. Oh, that's a poor guy. Why would you see that poor guy? You're a man of many talents, I believe. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> you have made us laugh. Comedy is something we should also think about. Think about, yeah. Yeah. Manager. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Do something about it. We know Churchill, we can connect. Alright, it's, mm-hmm. it's obvious that uh, Steve-O is dying. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to you. <laughs> Who would you uh, kiss, marry or kill? Let me give you the same, uh, Nicki Minaj. Um, Yemi Alade. And uh, there is this lady, I don't really know her name. I uh, Nadia, Nadia Katambe. Yeah. Nadia <laughs> Katambe. Uh, I'm going to marry Nadia Mukami. I love Nadia. Uh-huh. She's an amazing lady. A hardworking lady. Yeah? A team lady. Number two, I'm going to kiss... I'm going to kiss Mama Africa. Yemi Alade. Yeah. But I'm going to kill Nicki Minaj. But I love no, you so much. You, let me tell you guys, these this people are just haters. These people are just haters. You think when a woman has... Big boobs and no, big ass at the end of the street. Not She's Nicki Minaj. She's, she's the queen of rap. What do you mean? Give me that option. <laughs> <laughs> you, if, I were, if I were a man, I would definitely wife Nicki Minaj, yeah. man. No. 24-7. No. Nicki Minaj. Without a second. So those are people for people like me. Win. You understand? Those are their category. Yeah. Even if I get so rich at them, uh, the wind or whoever, mm-hmm. I cannot marry a woman and take him That guy can shoot you. So. <laughs> <laughs> Even Marcy, a man yes, with many hearts. Amazing. You're an amazing guy. Yeah. And thank you for the amazing vibe here. Yeah. We've had an amazing time. I hope you have as well. And you're welcome to a culture click any day, every day. If you have uh, any upcoming project that you're launching, feel free to let us know and uh, we we'll definitely launch it over here. So the collab you're doing with Steve Simple Boy, you guys yeah, can yeah. come and okay, drop it, it here. It's, it's just it's just a plan. It's it's like not not mm-hmm. it's an idea. Yeah. yeah, I just thought of it now. And ideas <laughs> <laughs> ideas come to pass. Yeah, so if that idea. happens But calligraph guy mm. yeah, yeah. is a goal. Mm-hmm. If not now Tomorrow, if next tomorrow, tomorrow the day someday. After tomorrow. When I what love that guy. Exactly. And exactly. Uh, what is it? The other guy's name? What's Lebron? Mm. Lebron. Yeah. Those are top people. Top people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's also my self-proclaimed <laughs> husband. <laughs> it was important to put it quite clear. Yeah, but right about now we want to wrap up the show. And I uh, will wrap up with you napping. Literally. But right about now I want you to I want to link you up with what you should be looking forward to this weekend. Number one, we're having the amazing, the number one um, or basically the first thriller or action movie that is launching on Netflix, or rather premiering on Netflix tonight at exactly midnight. We already had the premiere at um, Prestige, and uh, we were there with the whole crew. Come on, Lona, and Kona Bado, Tag Young, Rapa, if you squared, it's a quick watch, but it's a one watch, and I need to tomorrow. So make sure that you're grabbing your popcorns, make sure that you're there with your family and friends, and you're all watching 40 Sticks. It's definitely worth it. There's an amazing cast with amazing personalities. You don't want to miss out on that. And don't forget that tomorrow, Pia, it's after work Friday. As soon as you get out from work, and let's have an amazing time. We're going to be having the amazing, sensational Evelyn Mutua, our very own song Stress. Not a kind of band out live, so make sure on the kill up to that. We're going to be making our way to Carnival Simba Saloon from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. But right about now, I want our honorable. Yeah, exactly. So, honorable, uh, <laughs> honorable. But before you wrap, yeah, I wanted you to tell um, our viewers at home where they can find you on social media. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, on Instagram is Stevie Massey. Yeah. On the Twitter, Stevie Massey. Mm. Facebook, Stevie Massey. Cool. YouTube, everywhere is Stevie Massey. 
still in Masi. Yeah, just look for still Masi and you'll find it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now you can uh, end the show with a few bars. Yeah, yeah talk to us. We we're we're going to be standing at her so we can have a great time. Oh, I'm standing yeah? to the No, no. As, as we are your prop. Okay, listen. <laughs> fly boy, I'm fly boy. Eh? Uh huh. Fly boy, I'm a new generation. When me say yeah, my guys end up the nation. Me could just go like the father of the nation. Me flux shove the place like a raise up and ruction. Take about my life if it be like a vision to have a conversation. Under this my motion. On your television, you go see. Hey, okay. Okay, that was amazing. That was amazing. You should definitely consider coming back to the rap game. Imagine you and Kylograph rapping together. That's gonna be super lit. That's gonna be super lit. Do you know Mbogi Genje? Which song of Mbogi Genje do you know? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this time, Mimi and Mamua, as a fan of Bogi Genje Pia, we have to represent them. And I want you to do a collab with my with my G's, Bogi Genje. So I'm going to take you through one of their songs as we end the show. Now, do I go? have been waiting for this, eh? Bogi Genje, eh? Tukwevi. No, Tukwevi. Eh, Tukwevi. We're, we're like this, eh? Gumi Mwekse Kabisa. Eh, Bogi Genje, streaming Bogi Genje, eh? You're waiting for me to rap. <laughs> you better you better watch the show next week. <laughs> yeah, that's the song. That's the song. We hope you're gonna draw a collab with them. You were waiting for me to rap. You will wait for a long time because we're gonna be back next week. Same time, same place. Make sure you catch the Culture Click show every week right here on FOMO TV. But for now, adios and goodbye.